Well, the first witness returns to the stand today in the hush money criminal trial of Donald Trump. But first, the judge is holding a contempt hearing on Trump's alleged violations of the limited gag order in the case. ABC's Rena Roy has more on what it is happening inside the courtroom. Court is back in session in the historic trial of former President Donald Trump. The judge beginning the day by holding a contempt hearing on Trump's alleged violations of the limited gag order in the case. It prohibits statements about witnesses, jurors, and lawyers in the case other than Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Prosecutors arguing Trump violated that order at least 10 separate occasions this month. The defense arguing the comments were Trump's response to political attacks. The hearing at times combative between the judge and the defense. The judge ultimately saying he would not rule from the bench. Former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker returning to the witness stand this afternoon. Prosecutors saying he was essentially the eyes and ears of the Trump 2016 campaign, saying Pecker told Trump that adult film actress Stormy Daniels had a story that could turn into a sex scandal. Trump has denied having any sexual relationship with Daniels. At Trump's direction, prosecutors say his fixer, Michael Cohen, wired Daniels $130,000. And then, to hide the true nature of the payment, Trump allegedly decided Cohen's reimbursements should be recorded as legal services. Prosecutors calling it a planned, coordinated, long-running conspiracy to keep the voting public in the dark. But the defense arguing President Trump is innocent. President Trump did not commit any crimes. This is a case where you pay a lawyer, he's a lawyer and they call it a legal expense. And defense attorney Todd Blanche saying Michael Cohen cannot be trusted. He is obsessed with President Trump. He has a goal, an obsession with getting Trump. Well, this is a criminal conspiracy, according to prosecutors. This isn't just about falsifying business records. This is much bigger. From the defense perspective, they're doing just the opposite. They're trying to narrow this. They're trying to make this seem as small and inconsequential as possible. It's about some records here. Trump has denied any wrongdoing and pleaded not guilty to a 34-count felony indictment charging him with falsifying business records. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.